Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ibrahim Qureshi and we are going through VMware vSphere 6.7 training course. So I'm going to quickly go through some introduction about myself. Um, so I have 12 years experience in IT. I have successfully implemented and managed multiple VMware products uh, with hundreds of ESX hosts. I have uh, successfully migrated quite a few data centers. I have quite a few certifications um, including uh, VCP VMware Certified Professional 5 and uh, VCP 6 with in data center virtualization. I also hold, CC, uh, hold CCNA and um, MCSA certification. Um, I would love to hear back from you on my Twitter. You can reach me out at Ibrahim Horeshi or you can comment on below and um, introduce yourself to me and uh, tell me about your learning experience, how you uh, how how you are getting along, or if, is there anything you want to you know share with me? So a little bit more about me. I have got um, a lot of hands-on experience on Linux, Windows, networking, and VMware. I have a ton of experience in mentoring and training uh, for a lot of people. Um, it's an ongoing journey, um, and um, obviously, I believe. Uh, the best way to learn is to teach and that's why i'm here really currently i'm mentoring few of my family friends i have already taught quite a few of uh, um obviously um, i had quite a few mentees in the past and who have successfully learned and they are getting along nicely with um, obviously uh, with the career path within it now um and Hence, I thought that I should bring this forward to the next level and um, make this freely available on, on, on YouTube, really. Um, and this is also my way to give back to the VMware community and um, obviously the online community, which I've been learning and uh, learning from so far. So, um, who is this training for? This is for beginners, really. Anyone who um, who doesn't have any experience in IT, who doesn't have any background in computers. So this this will be um, focusing uh, from the basics for anyone who is beginners and also anyone who wants to see VMware vSphere 6.7 in action because this is the latest version of VMware vSphere 6.7 which is the VMware hypervisor and this is uh, going to be used all through my course on my home lab. So let's get into the agenda item. So I'll first of all go through what is virtualization. So you need to understand the fundamental of what is virtualization and an overview of what is type one and type two hypervisor so that you can differentiate what exactly is VMware hypervisor. Um, I'll obviously take you through on the VMware website how to download the v, uh, vSphere ESX um, hypervisor itself. Um, and um, I'll show you how to download the vCenter. Then I'll teach you how to install E, uh, VMware ESX 6.7 um, all the video tutorials which I'm doing is also going to be available or I'll make sure they are available on my blog uh, as a step-by-step -step guide to you so that uh, you if you ever find stuck yourself stuck in any of the setup you don't need to pause and play my video you can go to my blog and just go through step-by-step screens which will be really helpful for you uh, my, my blog is IbrahimKoreshi.com. I'll um, obviously put that in my link um, at the end um, on the description on the videos. How to uh, then we'll obviously jump into after installing ESX, we'll jump into how to connect ESX to the vCenter, and then we'll go through some of the understand uh, some of the features of vCenter 6.7. What is PSC? What is uh, embedded setup? And what is a separate PSC setup? and uh, um, then we'll obviously go through the installation of vCenter. Then we'll jump into walking through vSphere um, and obviously try to familiarize yourself with the um, options available, some important uh, tabs like configuration, network and storage so that you're comfortable with uh, using the new HTML5 web client. The old client, the flash client is still available, uh, which is also called the web client. Uh, um, but um, uh, I think the the plan is to eventually move everything to HTML5 and then obviously that will be depreciating. Um, then we'll teach you how to create your first ever VM and um, obviously start installing a you know OS on it. It could be Linux, it could be Windows. That we'll see how it goes. And then we'll work on some on the same one. We'll try to create template. We'll show. I'll show you how to create 
clones and i'll show you how an it admin uh, a virtualization admin can easily you know um do a lot of uh, work in a very short time by using templates clone and um, when you are doing any upgrades or anything you can take snapshot to make sure you can have a, a point in time restore um, and also we'll go through some vm uh, vm settings within the virtual machine then i'll take you some advanced feature like hot add cpu and hot plug la uh, uh, memory and we'll do it uh, on a live session i have been testing around with these features and um, anything any os above 2012 to, uh, is uh, compatible and any linux versions um, i have tested with red hat extensively uh, which version 6 supports uh, hot add cpu and hot plug memory um, then we'll go through on adding more disk obviously you will find you uh, uh, you may find a situation where you are having a virtual machine running and all of a sudden its disk is coming out um, alert, uh, disk space get alerted that uh, that the disk space is getting low so i'll show you how to expand the disk space and obviously how to extend it within the os and how, how to add new disk we'll be obviously working on vmfs5 but obviously we do have some flavors of vmfs6 in the past so i'll show you how to uh, migrate um, from vmfs5 to 6 we'll go through some installation of vmware tools which will give uh, a lot of performance on the vm and it's always recommended to run up-to-date tools um, we'll go through some advanced troubleshooting after that um, we'll dive into monitoring of cpu memory and network and disk we also can look into some tabs like alerts and events and we can check some latencies and stuff like that then we'll dive into uh, networks i want to focus on this one so they, we'll go through first uh, i'll jumble this across i will rearrange this we'll go through uh, different types of uh, management traffic um, uh, different type of traffics but management traffic vmotion fault tolerance and production traffic and then we'll dive into standard switch and distributed switches which is a important part of uh, uh, vmware networking and uh, then we'll go into some of the most exciting features of vmware why it is um, obviously the production proven product chosen by thousands and thousands of customers is because obviously it uh, minimizes the downtime on your production environment so uh, that is achieved by migration and using uh, the tool called vmotion which does compute migration now in version 6.7 you can do live migration without shared storage um, and you can do uh, we can do a live demo on that um, then we'll jump into cluster configuration ha again one of the important feature of vmware high level high availability distributed resource scheduler which will balance the resources on the host and um and someone who is using uh, legacy hardware or different versions of cpu we can obviously go through and show you how to enable evc mode as well then we'll jump into security i'll go through uh, some security compliance stuff and then we'll go in um, the maintenance side you know the monthly maintenance of how to update the ESX host how to patch them because VMware releases a lot of security updates and you need to make sure your environment is secure then I'll also show you a little bit of uh, VMDS uh, which is a VMware download server which is used in a restricted environment where you can't we sent it can't reach out to the internet to pull the patches um then before finishing uh, we'll i'll introduce you to some advanced troubleshooting using uh, another product from vmware called v realize operations it's a very powerful product and we can do a lot of uh, diagnosis um, and troubleshooting using this product then i'll get start i'll teach you guys how to get started with pos cli again command line is very effective so you can easily do a lot of tasks using command line it will make your life easier sorry uh, so it will make your life easier using command line so i would strongly recommend you to start looking into that then um, i'll show you how to create your mylan account and some resources on which is vmware hands-on lab that brings us to the conclusion of our vmware training uh, with vsphere 6.7 cool um as you can see there's a lot of term new terminology um i would advise don't get scared with that um they obviously we learn as we go along these are new, these will be new terminologies but uh, you will gather and you learn these terminologies and uh, um obviously develop a grounding based on that and um, 
what I would uh, uh, suggest is as, as I am designing this for uh, beginners, um, you don't need to worry about anything and um, I'm sure you will enjoy learning it as much as I'm going to enjoy delivering this course. Um, which brings me to the next topic which is about certifications which I wanted to cover. I didn't write a bullet point about it here but I should have. Uh, anyway, so the course which uh, you'll go through will um, bring uh, which uh, which will allow you to go for the certification which is called VCA VMware certified associate um, if you do want to go on the next level it is uh, VMware certified professional exam which you need to go for um, we will cover that in the uh, next videos because there are some different requirements for that okay then um, don't forget to subscribe and uh, reach out to me on Twitter at Ibrahim Qureshi. Um, I would um, suggest that you share it with your friends on social media as uh, they might benefit it, benefit from these videos. You never know. And uh, leave a comment below and tell me if you like the topics I'm covering uh, or you would like to learn something more specific or some topic more in detail, uh, which is not on my agenda. And uh, I would love to, you know, modify it uh, according to your need. Um, and that's it, really. I hope uh, to see you guys in my next uh, video. Thanks.